Sinclair in the, in the midfield. Well, that uh, cushion pass from Waring isn't the best and Williams can seize on it. Now, Woods, cushions back for Mitch Duggan, plays it into the midfield and Dixon, but he again is robbed by Barton. And now, here is Marne. Dixon just about holds him up, but it comes back for Sinclair on the edge of the area. And it's in! And Curtis and Aston have got an early goal. It's Isaac Sinclair with a superb curling effort that beats Dan Averton from long range. As Williams, just by the centre circle, slides it through for Booker Ricketts. And Booker Ricketts has got space to drive at the Curzon defence. They back off initially. Booker Ricketts runs, but look at that from Posher. Falls to Woods on the edge of the box. He might shoot. He's charged down by Barton. He does shoot eventually. I think it just got a nick on the way through, which meant it. the speed was taken off the shot and it was comfortable for Mason. Andy White with a loose ball. Gets it away from Barton. And now White's got some space to drive into. Lovely ball from Andy White, crossfield to find Woods, a little bit of room for him now, Woods delivers from the right, but it's an easy header away for Posher, Dixon brings it down the edge of the area, just Woods, go, decent effort, he saved the Motley Henry, puts the rebound in, and Warrington Town have got themselves a leveller. Slides it down the left for Gravosti, he'll enter the penalty area from the left, stands up his man, back on his right foot. Goes to Isaac Booker Ricketts. Booker Ricketts towards the goal, trying to get space for a shot, but he's well closed down by two Kersian defenders. Now Dixon from range, fancies one. Oh! Yeah! Duggan teed him up and Dixon in loads of space from 30 yards out has just curled one in to the bottom corner. And the Yellows have scored two in five minutes. It's Warrington Town two, Kers and Aston one. Williams, right foot free kick, curls, decent delivery. Headed Flag by up. Duggan, it's fell for Motley Henry who scored, but the flag is up. I'm not sure what the flag was for, I think, it was offside. I think he's offside. The flag did go straight up. And yeah, he is. And uh, he'll, he'll relish this kind of battle because uh, they're just trying to play it in long to uh, to Waring. Sinclair fizzes the ball in towards Waring, who goes down. Penalty. And there's a penalty. Waring's been having a battle, and there was nothing on there. But the referee, I don't even think White or Hannigan know who it is who he's penalised here. Waring's flung himself to the floor, and referee's pointed to the spot. Long wait for this penalty. Hayhurst, left-footed, up towards Dan Averton. Oh, and Averton went the right way. He got a hand to it, but it sneaks in, and it's 2-2. Spencer now coming forward. Here is uh, Richards. A little bit of an overload now for Curzon. Richards clicks one into the area. Can't, can't quite get a decent header on it. It's come for Craig Mann. Chops back, and oh, it's just put wide by Waring. He was in a worrying amount of space there, 10 yards out as Mann. Here he is. I've started reading the corner routines. The pass from Woods back to Williams wasn't the best, but Williams digs up across. Hannigan's there, Clark's there. Defender heads clear. It falls for Dixon on the edge. He lashes one. He's blocked by Posher, and such was the force on the shot. Posher's limping away from his block. Now Woods chips the ball in towards Clark at the back post he did really well Clark to get ahead on that yeah he but did couldn't quite get enough on it but Posh has actually gone down Yellows have followed in Motley Henry followed in for a goal for the first goal if you can do the same here there might be some crumbs to gather from this free kick Gravosti stood over it Williams has stood over it I think it'll be Williams to be honest as I say that Gravosti kills it oh and it's tipped over the bar I think it was a fairly standard save from Mason, but it was one he had to make. You know, maybe they can gamble in, you know, like that Sinclair goal, maybe. You know, with a bit more, they'd gamble on going to Sinclair. Is this ball forward? Might land for Buckley Ricketts. He spins away from Matthews or tries. Matthews holds him up. Buckley Ricketts passes to Woods on his inside. Woods needs space for a shot. Oh, he's hit the bar. Great effort from Connor Woods from nothing. He had no back lift, did he there, Mark? But somehow managed to dig one out. And he's hit the crossbar. Brilliant effort, that. Absolutely superb effort from Connor Woods as Town come forward again. Andy White clicks the ball in. Buckley Ricketts with the header. It's just over the crossbar. Here's Grivosti. I just wondered whether Motley Henry could have showed a bit more for Bowen Dixon there through the middle. But perhaps a testament to the Curzon defence that they didn't want to gamble on a through ball in that situation. Woods' touch lands for Duggan. He's not seeing much of the ball in an attacking position, but he's going to put a decent cross in for Motley Henry. Oh, he's hit the bar. What a ball that is from Mitch Duggan. And, well, Motley Henry did all he could there, but it's come back off the crossbar, and the Yellows have hit the woodwork twice in the second half. Hides it across to Motley Henry, wants it back from Woods. Woods drives inside, though, and then goes down a bit of a cul-de-sac, does Connor Woods. Peter Clark is going to be beaten to this by Jamie Allen, and Allen's got the pace on Peter Clark, who just about manages to hold him up. Lazy off for Hayes, it's there, and it's Moles. 
Kurz and Ashton have taken the lead and it's Stefan Malls again, it's his first touch. It just inside the yellow's half. Clips it down the line for Malls who just overruns it. It's intercepted by Hannigan. Duggan tries to keep it in, which he does. Motley Henry who's been quiet in the second half. Well, that looked like a foul on Motley Henry to me, but Allen's kept it alive. Now Moles back to Allen. Oh, and now it's all kicking off on this near side. Hayhurst had a right pop at Motley Henry there. Motley Henry and a Curzon player had a little bit of something on the touchline. And then Hayhurst gone up to remonstrate with Motley Henry. And Motley Henry's gone down as if to say he's been struck in the face. Motley Henry and an unnamed Curzon player, I can't quite see, he's still off the field, had a little bit of a battle close to the touchline. And then when Motley Henry's come back on, Hayhurst just shoved him. Who's off here? Motley Henry? Motley Henry's off. Motley Henry's being sent off. I think a Curzon player is going to be sent off here as well. I think Hayhurst will be sent no, he's off put, as well. He's putting, his, he's putting his car back in his pocket. Oh, no, oh, Hayhurst has gone as well. For Hayhurst. So both teams down to 10 men. And I dare say that's the end of Motley Henry's loan spell. Indeed, everyone brought back for Curzon. So White's going to loiter on the edge of the area. Duvosti sends the ball in. It's headed back across goal. It's oh. come for Duggan. It's blocked. It could come for Clark. Was he brought down there? There's appeals from behind. The goal referee says no. Here's Bennett. Bennett lost to cross. It's blocked again by Allen, but it's going to be another town corner. Just too deep, that corner. At this stage of the game, it's got to go into the middle. What can Bucky Ricketts do? That's a decent ball. White, one again. Oh, it's just over the bar. And that's it. The full-time whistle. The yellows have gone down. They're out of the FA Cup. Stefan Moles, his headers, won the game. It's been a decent game end-to-end. -end. Both teams led. But it's Curzon Ashton who once again have the yellows number. The full-time score here, Warrington Town 2, Curzon Ashton 3.